Hello students, I'm Dr. Harpreet Singh and today we'll be talking about a very interesting topic, how to read a shoulder MRI. So this is a very important topic. You need to go through your uh, shoulder MRIs whenever you're trying to plan for a shoulder surgery. So let's uh, go and see when you need to order a shoulder MRI. So shoulder MRI is a very important investigation and you need to order it when you're suspecting a rotator cuff tear or a liberal pathology in a patient like uh, having instability, uh, anterior, posterior, whatever. So these are the two main indications, cuff pathologies and liberal pathologies when you are trying to show, uh, when you order a shoulder MRI. Other conditions can be uh, when you suspect a re-tear after a cuff repair or when you are suspecting intra-articular loose bodies or you are suspecting avascular necrosis. Rare indications are uh, when you require evaluation of red flag signs like suspected uh, palpable mass, suspected neoplasm, uh, suspected fracture, which is not seen on an X-ray uh, infection or something when you see some abnormality on an X-ray but want to further evaluation on a better investigation, then also you can order an MRI. Equally important is to know when not to order an MRI. So you should not order an MRI unless you have a differential diagnosis in mind. That means you have gone through your history taking, you have gone through your uh, physical examination and got your x-rays done and there's a differential diagnosis in mind and you want to confirm that differential diagnosis, only then order an MRI. It's not a substitute for clinical examination. What happens if you order an MRI without going through the proper history, clinical exam and uh, x-ray? So MRI will throw a lot of findings and you will not be able to find out which finding is the cause of the pain or the problem in this patient. So always go uh, do your history, physical exam, get an x-ray done and only after these reach out to your MRI if needed. Thank you.